I found that when looking at TVs and monitors, the majority of them are widescreen, but they're usually 16 by 10 instead of 16 by 9. Now, it is very difficult to tell the difference between the two, especially when manufacturers will often enough lie and list it as 16 by 9 on the box and in the product specifications. Plus, they often enough give it a 16 by 9 panel resolution. Now, I've only found a couple of ways to tell if the monitor is 16 by 9 or not. One of them involves measuring the width and height of the panel display. If you get a result of 1.7 repeating after dividing the width by the height, then it is a 16 by 9 monitor. If you get 1.6, then it is 16 by 10. Um, the only other way I found is if you load a YouTube video that fills the whole player, and then you go into a full screen. If it doesn't fill your display, you get the black bars at the top and bottom, then you have a 16 by 10 panel. Otherwise, if it fills your screen, then you have a 16 by 9 panel. What I don't understand is why 16 by 10 displays even exist. It can't be an expense issue because all they would have to do is just use a little bit less material to create, create a 16 by 9 panel display. Some people do seem to prefer it though. Why does it bug me? Is it black bars when I'm watching a video or a movie? No. I got used to that back when full frame TVs and monitors were the norm. What bugs me about it is that when I'm playing a video game that doesn't necessarily support 16 by 10 it might fill up the panel but it might scrunch everything to fit. Oh. Those are just my thoughts. Just wondering, which do you prefer?